All right, what's up, guys? This is Daniel with Texas Laced, uh, bringing y'all another sneaker pickup. Um, it's going to be a really quick video just because I don't have my camera with me. I'm actually recording off of my phone, so bear with me on the quality and on the uh, handle of the phone. Uh, I'm just going to make this quick little video to show you um, the pickups that came out today. Of course, everybody knows what came out today, the Shattered Backboard 1s, the uh, Yeezys, um, the LeBron 4th of July pack, um, Kyrie's, all those came out today. But, of course, everybody was like, trying to get either the Yeezys or the Shattered Backboard. Um, luckily, my boys came through and uh, secured me on both pairs. So I'm just going to give you a quick little look at both of them. I will be doing a video um, of each one separately, individual, individually on foot. Um, we'll be comparing the Yeezys to like the 750 boost um, compared to the 350 that released this weekend. And I'll be comparing the uh, Shattered Backboard to so like my Chicago's and um, Band 1's. But uh, just going to give you a quick little look at the shoes real quick. Tell me what you guys think and stay tuned for the um, video, um, detailed video with a better camera and everything. Um, anyway, so here they are. First, I'm going to show you the shutter back. See this size 8.5. Let's give you a quick little look at the shoe. Quality on the shoe is pretty amazing. Like, um, like you can see like the tumbled leather on there, like it's just crazy. Um, I would even go as far as to say is like it's quality is better than the bad ones. Um, you can see like the tumbled leather on there that's super buttery. Um, the tongue is actually like really thick. I don't know really why, but it's really thick on there. You can see the insole, orange bottom, a really nice shoe. Um, paid 160 something after tax. You can even see like the creases on the toe box. Nike Air on the tongue. And of course the insole, the shattered backboard. Um, so really dope shoe. Um, hopefully everybody who wanted it was able to get their hands on a pair. The quality is amazing on these. Um, seem kind of heavy though, to be honest. Or maybe it's just because of this, but um, I haven't really compared them to my other ones. I know it's for sure like better than the Royals and the, um, the breads that just released and the Shadows and stuff like that. It's really definitely better than those. Really it's just compared to like the um, band ones. Um, let's check out the other pair of plate. And then of course it's just the other half of the, the backboard. Really dope. Super buttery. Anyways, enough of those. Um, let's get into the other pair of shoes that came out. So here's the box, Yeezy Boost 350, size 8. So these do run big in my opinion. Um, so I was going to get a size 9, decided to go down because I wore like an 8.5 or 9. These run big, um, about half a size big. I wouldn't say a full size, but about half a size big, I would say. Um, so anyway, let's just open up the box. So it does come in this like special packaging. Um, not as cool as a 750 Boost, but uh, still pretty cool has a label on there it's really just like a looks like a simple UPS box or something um, but it does open like like the two flaps and you have the shoes in there really don't like how they like packaged it in there they think they could have done better packaging but I mean it was only $200 for the shoes um, so it wasn't too, too bad <clears throat> and here it is so it's just like all one piece upper with the woven inside um, shoe strings the uh connections right here it's all one piece so that's really good um i have tried them on um they're not like super amazingly comfortable like people like say but i mean overall they're still pretty comfortable but i just don't think they're like amazingly comfortable like everybody hyped them up to be you got the little yeezy logo i mean sorry the adidas logo right here and on the other one actually has the uh yeezy logo this is the one i tried on kind of loosen up the laces it has this little hang tag right here. Then have it says the Adidas um, Yeezy on the insole. It has this little pull tab. Everything's Gucci right there. Um, then it just has that same sole as the uh, 750 Boost. Um, really dope shoe. Really like it. Um, definitely glad I got my size eight. Could fit be perfect. So definitely, if you're getting a pair, go like at least half a size down. There is no half sizes, so it's either 8, 9, 10, 11, and so forth. 
I really want to give y'all a quick little video over this thing, uh, over these two pairs of shoes. Um, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you uh, got were able to get your hands on a pair online. I did try to shoot for some more pairs online just to like stock up on them, um, but unfortunately I was only able to get the Yeezys online. Um, another pair of Yeezys online. I wasn't able to get another pair of Shattered Backboard, which I wish I was able to, just to keep dead stock. Because um, eventually I am going to wear both of these like I do all my shoes. Anyways, quick little video for you guys. Um, thanks for this watching. Stay tuned for the actual in-depth review over each one with on feet and everything. Thanks, guys. Peace.